All right, how'd you do on those questions? Easy, 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 yeah? So let's check them real quick and then look at those thesis statements a little bit closer just to be sure that we know what we're doing. So our first question asked us to look at this example introduction about um, factors that we should consider when picking a new television show and asked us which of these sentences are part of the general ideas. And remember, in our introductions, our general ideas are usually going to be the first and maybe the second sentence of the paragraph. And so if I read my introduction here, thanks to streaming services like Netflix and Amazon, there are more television shows available to us than ever. That seems pretty general. Let's look at our next sentence. However, thanks to our busy modern lives, we have less time to watch television than Ever. So yeah, both of these are kind of general ideas. They're setting the scene for what our essay is going to be about. There's a lot of television to watch, but we don't have as much time to watch it. So yes, these first two sentences are my general ideas. Now let's find that specific topic. We already said that the first two sentences here are part of my general ideas. So now I want to look at my next sentence and see, does it connect these general ideas to my thesis statement. Therefore, it is important that we choose our television shows wisely. Yes, that is my connecting sentence there that connects those ideas about we're busy, we've got a lot going on, to we need to choose wisely. So our uh, specific topic comes right there in the middle that's connecting those two ideas. Which of course leaves our last sentence here as my thesis statement. And yes, that is a good thesis statement. We're gonna look at it a little bit closer in just a minute. So hopefully that was really easy for you. Nothing there that was too challenging. So now let's go back here to our introduction about travel and choosing um, a holiday destination, okay? And I want us to go in a little bit more on this thesis statement. So we understand now the pyramid of greatness of how to go from general to specific to thesis statement. Now the last thing we wanna do is focus on that thesis statement and make sure that we understand 125% how to make a great thesis statement. So if I look at this thesis statement and I think, where did these ideas come from? The first idea I wanna think of is this main idea of the whole essay, the most important factors to consider when choosing a holiday destination. And if I look back at my question, I see that idea right there in my essay question. It says the factors to consider in choosing a holiday destination. So all I've done is I've taken those same words, important factors, consider, choosing, holiday destination, and just changed the grammar to make it from a question to a statement, right? And I've added that in my opinion. Then if we look at the main ideas of each of my body paragraphs, where did that information come from? This cost type of travel and length of travel. Well, yeah, that came from my mind map. Those were the main points that I came up with when I did my mind map that I said I want to include as my main ideas of each of my body paragraphs, yeah? So easy stuff. Right? So, same thing here. If we look at this example um, thesis statement about our television shows, choosing a good television show, I feel a good television show, right? This came from my question. What are some factors that make a good television show? And then my supporting details here are my main ideas of each of my body paragraphs, not my supporting details, my main ideas. Good actors, good stories, and well-made. All of that comes from my mind map, okay? So, with that in mind, it's your turn. We've got some examples below of some questions and mind maps, and I want you to practice writing some thesis statements that would be perfect in an introduction 
with that question and that mind map. So go do that and then we'll come back and we'll see. Do your thesis statement and my thesis statement get along? Are they similar? Are they very different? We'll find out soon.